The Reap What You Sow update is in full swing, everyone. Well, at least in beta form, that is. And since we've gotten an initial taste of everything new, a new do for our alchemy engines, and now even a brand new look into the new farming systems at play within Don't Starve Together here. So I'd say, so far so good. That said, there are still a couple tidbits left hanging, and while while Clay themselves have actually come out to warn us of potential changes to nearly everything within this update, I do have a feeling that one thing that we'll be talking about today will be buzzing about for weeks to come still. And I say thing because it is a thing, folks. Let us talk more about this Lord of the Fruit Flies, everyone. This pseudo mini boss has already had its health drop from 4,000 thousand to three thousand total and over the last two to three days here it has somewhat eluded me with its mechanics until today what are its spawning habits what do the mini fruit flies do and will the lord actually be more helpful than an actual nuisance well let's find out and as for the moment, I have only encountered this beast in two ways. Rotted plants, and even fully grown ones. Yes, at first, I myself thought that this thing was just going to be a mere punishment for not taking care of our farm plots. However, after yesterday, I found that the Lord of the Fruit Flies here can actually spawn when there are 10 or more healthy plants as well. If there are 10 or more rotted and or fully grown plants and even a two tile farm plot, then a lord is practically guaranteed actually. Well, past day 35 that is. Oh, and the fight is really darn easy by the way, so I'm not even gonna go over it. Just be mindful of its 40 damage per attack. But what am I going on about with this day 35 nonsense? Well, exactly that. At their base, a Lord of the Fruit Flies simply cannot spawn from any circumstances until after day 35. However, there are still some steps that could lead to that very timer actually shortening. For you see, for every rotted plant within a farm plot, the spawn timer drops by half a day. Meaning, if you really wanted to, you could just actually quote unquote force one to spawn super early by completely neglecting your crops. But why on earth would you even do such a thing? Well, for one thing, it will no longer bother you for 20 days potentially, as again, it's technically a boss enemy. For another, not only will it drop leafy meat, the friendly fruit fly fruit will also be ours to take. And this thing is essentially the eye bone to Chester or star sky to Hutch, and that picking it up spawns a friendly fruit fly follower with 100 health and a decent sanity order gain. That said, it's one of those sanity aura gains where you have to be right up next to it to fully feel its effect, but still, it's a thing. What is also a thing is what the friendly fruit fly can actually do for us once we have it around. For you see, it will follow us, and once it locates a nearby farm plot with crops untended to, it will actually tend to them for us automatically. This means that all we may have to worry about are the watering of these crops and fertilization alone. Super, super useful if gotten early enough. But from good to bad, the teensy tiny flies that the Lord itself spawns are not so nice, folks. For one thing, any open area meant for seeds will be swarmed by them, or even the Lord itself, as they look to spawn in crap tons of weeds instantly. And while this may actually come to pass to be something to potentially abuse to our benefit later on in the update cycle, it doesn't make it any any less annoying. Oh, and these darn little buggers also make plants unhappy at that. So I would be rid of them as soon as possible, everyone. They are non-hostile and really easy to catch and murder. Plus, they don't even help the Lord fight you at all. So you should have no issue dealing with these things. You just may have to tend to your crops again if they got to them, that is. But folks, I think there are really only two last notes here. 
at least for now. The first being that the Lord of the Fruit Flies doesn't really have the means to follow us very far, it seems. The Lord prioritizes being near its spawn point on the farm plot which it came from, which is all the more reason to kill it quickly, really. Otherwise, yes, gonna be annoying. And I will say, we might want to rethink this one, Clay, because even if nice crops spawn this thing, you might deter people from farming even more so than you already have with this update. But finally, say the friendly fruit fly meets a totally accidental end of some sort. The fruit will instantly wrinkle up and slowly die over the course of about six days, meaning yes, no respawn for our friend. It seems for now that the only way to get another would be to wait and get yet another lord in 20 or so days. Good luck. But there you have everyone, the lord of the fruit flies within Don't Starve Together. At least for now. I have no idea if any of these recent update videos are actually going to hold up. However, for the time being, we may as well come together to just share whatever knowledge we can find on the Reap What You Sow update, A. Eh? But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Get to swatting. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.